Hello students and welcome to the fourth lesson in chapter one of IGCSE Environmental Management. In this lesson today, we're going to think about how we can manage the impact that mining has on the environment. And more specifically, we're going to be able to describe the different strategies to restore the landscapes after the mining process has taken place and also evaluate these strategies as well. That means to think about the positive but also the negative impacts of them. Before we take a look at the different strategies, we first need to be clear what we mean by this word restoring. To restore something means to take it back to its original condition or its original state. Remember, this course is called environmental management. And within this course, we always want to see how we can best deal with the environment around us and also to control the impacts, the negative impacts that we have on different landscapes. There are four strategies within this video that we are going to look at. Number one is waste disposal. Number two, land restoration. Number three, landfill sites. And number four, bioremediation. So let's get started. Mining creates a lot of waste and mining companies are required by governments all over the world to submit detailed plans about how they intend to safely dispose of this waste generated throughout the mining process. These waste disposal plans will first aim to minimise the total amount of waste generated during mining, but they will also put systems and other infrastructure in place to treat any waste to remove toxic chemicals and other pollutants like heavy metals. But more importantly for us, these plans need to clearly outline how they intend to dispose of this treated waste and other removed material like topsoil or overburden. This highly regulated system differs from how it was done in the past. In the past, mining companies or mining waste was usually piled up near the areas of extraction. These piles were often high, made of uncompacted material or loose materials, and therefore they were very unstable. The collapsing of these unstable piles put the lives of the miners in danger, and also toxic chemicals and heavy metals were able to seep through the waste and enter waterways, polluting the local water supplies and also damaging the health of local populations and wildlife. This is why now waste disposal plans are crucial for the safe and sustainable operation of mines. These plans must also consider how waste and the local environments will continue to be monitored after the mine closure to ensure the safety and prevention of contamination for decades to come in the future. Besides the treatment and safe disposal of mining waste, mining operators also need to consider and plan for the restoration of the mining area after closure. When mining is finished, regulation states that the land needs to be restored or put back to its original condition if possible. One common method is to fill the open pits created by mining with overburden or other materials reshaping the land to blend back in with the surrounding landforms. This process can also be called backfilling. To further enhance this process, layers of fertile topsoil can be added to encourage the growth of plant life, improving the biodiversity of the area. Planting trees can create habitats um, very, very quickly. Other uses can also be found for past mining sites, for example, using this backfilling method to create golf courses or other public amenities, like can be seen in the photo here. A third strategy for restoring landscapes after mining is called bioremediation. Bioremediation is a waste treatment method which is often used when simply filling an open pit mine back up with waste after the mining has finished. As this waste can contain many toxic chemicals, living organisms like bacteria can be added to biologically remove the pollutants from the material by breaking down the toxic substances inside. This makes the material and the area less hazardous. One thing to keep in mind is that this treatment method can be really, really slow and it's best to use bioremediation with other strategies, for example, tree planting. The method of encouraging vegetation growth 
is in itself a form of biological treatment. This is because many plants can naturally uptake and absorb toxic pollutants and um, different heavy metals. These plants can be removed, which will then leave the ground below less toxic than before. After treatment and monitoring, old mining sites can be transformed into nature reserves or reservoirs, or the lands can even be used for agriculture. A final strategy for restoring landscapes is by creating landfills. Landfill sites are often used in old mines because mining naturally creates large craters in the ground, which can be filled with domestic waste. Once the crater in the ground is filled up with waste, it can then be covered with topsoil, like the strategies mentioned before, and vegetation can be grown there. Let's take a look at some key vocabulary mentioned within this class. In this lesson, we have been discussing land restoration. This means putting the landscape back into its original condition after mining has finished. Strategy number one is having a storage plant in place. This is different to what used to happen. Before, when we were mining, we simply just used to pile up the material that we have mined next to the area of extraction. This created very tall and stable piles and was dangerous for local miners. It also allowed toxic waste to very easily pollute the local landscape and also local waterways. Now we need to have a safe disposal plan put in place before mining can begin. And we also need to monitor the area after mining has finished to ensure that it is safe for the future and for decades to come. A second strategy we looked at was simply by filling up um, mining craters or open pits with material and treated waste. This is called backfilling. Once we have filled up the open pit mines, we can then cover them with topsoil, topsoil and we can add fertilizer to encourage vegetation and trees to grow. However, there can also be some contaminants still left within the waste that we use to fill up these open pits. So we can use bioremediation um, to treat the waste or the pollutants which are still present. This uses microorganisms such as bacteria, which removes hazardous material from the soil and other kind of pollutants and contaminants as well. And then finally, our fourth strategy was looking at landfill. Similarly to the strategies mentioned before, this is simply filling up holes created by mining with um, waste or trash and then covering them again with topsoil and allowing trees and vegetations to grow. So that's us came to the end of lesson number four, and hopefully now you will all be able to describe and evaluate the different strategies used for restoring landscapes after mining. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to seeing you in the classroom soon.